Transphobes are obsessed with making up fake situations and then they scare themselves with it. So one of my posts on Instagram went viral recently and it was all about debunking the trans groomer myth. Statistically, straight men are the ones attacking little girls and they usually do it in the victim's home. That is why the idea of trans people attacking girls in bathrooms doesn't make any sense. In the face of all of that evidence comes this very improbable situation. The transphobes think that it's a good idea for predators to dress up as a woman, to go into a public bathroom and attack a child publicly, as if the children are there without their parents, as if there wasn't a whole bunch of witnesses outside of the bathroom, as if there wasn't a whole bunch of witnesses inside the bathroom. Any child in that situation would scream bloody murder before anything even happened. So if you think this situation is probable, I have to question your intelligence because you're not very smart. Let's go ahead and put that painful stupidity to the side. Do you think the Karens of this world would let any man in a wig have any amount of peace? There are a lot of dumb people in this country who are harassing biological women, calling them trans and not allowing them to go into the bathroom. You heard that right. They're accusing biological women of being trans. I'll show you. Do you hear this? That Karen was harassing a clearly biological woman. She was accusing her of being trans and there's all sorts of news coming out about cisgender people harassing other cisgender people for being trans. Trans folks are not letting anybody get into the bathroom. You think that they're gonna let a man in a wig in a bathroom after a kid? I don't think so. But let's bring it back to the original point. Bathroom attacks are not happening any that has been documented there have been hundreds of thousands of other children that were molested by family members by acquaintances by neighbors so if you're interested in the welfare of children if you want to attack the grooming of children start by not laughing at the me too movement start by empowering the accused start by making sure that attackers stay in jail